And hello there guys, welcome back again to Sense, a cyberpunk ghost story. Continuing on through the apartments. Um, yeah, we can go back out. This is just to save. So, 205. I can't. I'm at a bit of a loss now what to do. Um, let's have a look back in that room where there's the um, the uh, key maker thing, key master machine. Because we've obviously got to do something. We need the code. Yeah, because it's got a padlock on it. There's no point in guessing, maybe I can find a note with the code. Wonder if I've missed it. Um, that's not it. There's nothing else in... Uh, I need to find a key to unlock the box. Ah, this one. We already looked down there. Hmm. We've missed something. So let's go back and carefully look everywhere. Ah, what was this? There's even some joysticks left. I can't put my jacket down now. <laughs> Gotta keep it. Uh, the cast iron wok. What is that for? Various notes and messages from tenants. Ooh. Ah, uh, third part of the photo is hidden behind some letters. Alright. The desk. We got the key for 205 there, but there's a slight bulge in the image. <laughs> He's trying to be funny. He's got his hand over his bulge, what are you on about? Ah, uh, no, she actually means. Ah, uh, so I think we've got all the parts of that picture now. Can we put them in this offering? Um, a photo to show you're making offerings too. Maybe there is more than three. Yeah, we don't know what the walk's for. Hmm, I'm a bit confused now. Let's keep looking around. What is that door? Two or, it's two or three, but we can't we can't interact with that door. this one. Can't do anything there yet. It's not that big a place to be fair, so there wasn't anything in it, was there? Nah, it's a dead end. It's solely for a save room that I think. It's locked. Yeah, I wonder if we have to go back down then. 
So we did investigate it pr pretty uh, thoroughly. We can't go back down there. A small figure of a Taoist deity. What the hell do we do now? I actually cannot think because I'm sure I've done everything. Yeah, we don't want to do that. <sighs> I've missed something, but where else can we go though mm. let's investigate this a bit more wait a minute maybe, maybe there is something down here that I've missed Because we only came down here quickly and then we basically went back. There's not any th uh, piggy bank. A gacha gacha coin. Old cigarette case. Wait, there's a, no a note next to the case. Don't trust Brian up to something. The rest is some kind of symbol. Don't know who Brian is. What is that plastic crate? Because it's it shows up in pink. Can, can we look through that hole again? Oh, we go. Um, I wonder if we can use that coin to sort of like open a door or something. Oh, what? One of the notes is ripped. It matches the paper I found in the crawl space. Ah, a four digit number, 9615. What do you mean you're sure it's important? You know what it's for. 9614, wasn't it? Um, how do I okay it? I just need molten metal. Oh wait, that'll be the walk, won't it? Yeah, so let's go back to that um, that big room with the walk. creepy so far. It's a bit, bit eerie, but not too terrifying. That's not it. It's... A heavy duty walk like this would be perfect for melting down something like zinc or lead. Alright. Um, let's go straight back. There's a bit of running back and forth on this game, as you can see, but it's not too bad. Oh, what the... Huh? 
How does that work? Yeah, that's when there's a ghost near. How do you melt it down? Ah, there we go. Lead or pewter? Duh, I don't want to go out there now. Where the hell do we find that? Oh, I see. When that goes back round, that means you, you've got away from him. Oh, we still haven't got in that door. We've still got that coin as well. Perfect. Ah, this figure is made of pewter based on its age. Even, even if it's lead based, I can definitely melt it down. It's a good job she knows about all this science stuff. Uh, we're gonna run into that ghost at some point. I just know it. Um, the stove. Where is it? Take a few minutes. I still need to wait. Pewter should take several minutes to melt down. Uh, you've got to wait in here. I oh, was gonna go and uh, take a walk. I wonder how we get in there. Finally done. Now to pour this into the keysmith machine. Oh, wait. We need to actually. <laughs> we need to get it. Gotta let it cool a bit, unless you want to burn your hand off. Yeah. It's kind of a weird running system. Like, you normally hold R2 to sort of sprint, but sometimes if you just do a turn like that, she'll start running automatically. Just kind of weird that. Let's see if 206 has a way out of this place. Alright, good, we've got that key now. I'll just nip and save it because we're right near it. Oh, wait a minute. We're right next to where we want to be anyway, aren't we? Nice and quick to save. To us, yeah, that's uh, two o six. Another jade bangle. They're the people. What the hell. Yeah, there's a little girl. She's crying while holding on to something. A small piece of paper, or maybe a photograph. Is that really what happened then? She was... Being followed by the building manager. It looks like the tent here moved out. 
Direct Mail, Seattle Police. Hmm, so that's the girl and the policeman. The police officer appears to be taking notes, but I can't read much of his writing. Unsuspect family member. Suspecting what? There was some sort of scene, wasn't there? There's a heavy duty lock on the door. The poor girl must have been terrified. Check the folder. It's a folder full of information regarding an orphanage in Portland. In 1968, Chua was adopted by Hank and Farrah McKellar. Ah, so that's why um, there's an American. There's nothing here about Than. Th 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 than. How, do, how do you say that name? We'll go with Than. Haha, <laughs> that sounds really Blade Runner. If you've seen the original uh, Blade Runner. The envelopes from the Seattle Police Department. Detective James Capsburn. It's addressed to Tracy McCullough. It appears to have been opened. Dear Tracy, I did quite a bit of digging on Tony. I don't believe that what I'm about to give you will need any more commentary from me. I hope this information helps you find some solace. There's a small packet inside. Legal documents. Um, all dated from the late 1960s. Two names appear frequently. Ch Chua Nguyen, age 2, and Thang Nguyen, age 10. Is she the little girl then? They sound Chinese, don't they? So, so they were adopted to... Chua and Than. Something still a bit... What the hell? I just heard some of them. A mummified finger. What the hell? The end of the bone's almost like a key. Hmm, we can't do anything now. So. Where haven't we been? Um, what the hell? I know I already opened the hallway door. This can't be right. Oh no, not giant eyes. It's like stray all over again. Yeah. Oh, whoa. Where did you come from? Did the beat mats tape here? You got floating beds. Moving cupboards. That were a weird click. They're not too scary actually. It's just a bit weird this game. But it's definitely creepy. Uh, the only thing I can think of is that draw in um, where we made the walk. There was a little draw that we couldn't get in. Yeah, there we go. Dark. Huh? Yeah. 
filled with letters to someone named Chua in apartment 206. Yep. Dear Chua, please forgive me for scaring you. I did not mean to make you upset. I just wanted to know you. Ah, didn't mean to skip that. Mr. Zhu will probably find me, but I want to tell you the truth. I love you. Oh, so Fan Turning. Oh, so he was the um, the other kid, was he? Huh? I'm not sure if I've even got this right. An emergency elevator release tool. I bet I can use this to open the elevator. From the west end of the hall. Whoa, what the hell? Scared me then. I didn't think there'd be anything down here. Hello, ghosty. We need to go this way. It looks like he's naked, doesn't it? What's that about? See ya. I feel like we need to make that offering there. Can we, uh... It's down this way, isn't it, anyway? Photo frame. Oh, why can't I put that photo in there? Wait a minute, I can't. No, you can't like combine stuff like on Resident Evil. It's just got all the. Um, Just got all the parts. The hell's a gacha coming for? Yeah, it's more automated on this. Like you just do it in the game. You don't have to click on it via the menu. No, we did get the elevator key though, didn't we? So maybe we've got to do that first. And the doors are open. I just need something to reach the elevator. Uh, wait, with that, um, what was it? That box in the bottom, you know. I knew that was or something, because it were in pink. Got to go back to the walk room, haven't we? And then, as through. Yeah, then through here. Got to remember where you've been, aren't you guys? A bit like, a bit like Resident Evil. So I don't know if you guys, when you're playing like Resident Evil, for example, at least the old games, I'm sort of remembering where to go next as I'm playing it, so that I don't like get stuck and stuff. That's after beating the games a few times because you kind of you memorize them. I know, um, definitely the original trilogy, and, um, 
I'm not as good at Code Veronica. That's one that I played a lot later because I never owned it growing up. But the first three I'm pretty good at. The crate will definitely all my way. <laughs> it's a good job she's not not a big girl in it. I feel like there's more to do. Yeah, it's to do with that offering in it. Why can I not interact with it though? Let's just be careful. Nothing of note. Oh, there's a tape dispenser on the desk. I can piece together these photos. Ah, that's what we needed to do. A photo of a Chinese family. I wonder if they were the original parents of uh, Chua, Chua, is that what it would call? Because, yeah, it seems like they were adopted by an American family. But then why, why is there a ghost? Like, what's happened? But it'll all be revealed, won't it? Right. Giving an offering to that family will ease the spirits. Uh, we need to go back and get the joysticks. I've got a bad feeling about this. Huh? I could hear, I could hear a dog then. On the game, not sure if that is on the game. <laughs> it's not a very scary sound, is it? A dog barking because my mic does pick up quite a lot of stuff, so that could be, I don't know, you guys on it. Actually, you won't, because if it's picking it up anyway. But if you've played this game, you will know. Um, oh, yeah, they're just sticks. There's only six left, but that'll be plenty. Hey, <sighs> no. Oh. Uh, I told you guys it was too easy, didn't I? How do we... Um... Wait, we can hide in there. Oh, sugar. That, <laughs> that actually made me jump. Because he, he just appeared. Oh, there was something there as well. We managed to get past the... They should sort of get rid of him permanently I forgot that I threw it out when it ran out of gas I saw an ashtray in the main room maybe that is another lighter ah may you that is a name in it may <laughs> I think it is oh yeah says it there Oh wait, that what is that? A, is that enough? A flip-top lighter. It's kind of weird that there's there's just one there. It's, what are the chances? Leave me alone. Ooh, voice acting. All right, the lights are on. Uh, stay back. 
Uh, that was the soldier, wasn't it? Yeah, uh, pay as much attention to surviving. Yeah, alright. We can go to the lift now, can't we? Should be in a new bit now. Uh. Oh. <laughs> right, so are we like at the other side or something? Calm down, me. We will find a way out of here. Worst thing you can do in this situation is panic. Uh. What the hell? The window has a heavily rusted lock on it. Yeah, this room's kind of destroyed. Those crows look very defensive. Right, so we got to move them. Um, storage. It gives me memories of playing Silent Hill 2, this, that first um, apartment block. Trying every door, and nearly every door is locked. Same sort of idea. Uh, the knob doesn't turn. <laughs> oh dear. And the door won't budge. There isn't even a number. Yeah, that's kind of. Hey, there is a number. It's 303. What are you on about? It's a bit clock. It's stuck on. Uh, what is it? Half past one? Half past twelve. Whoa, what the? Ah, uh, got me again, you stupid game. That door's locked. Are they Buddha? Buddha statue. Taoist statue. Yeah, there's a lost, a uh, lost cat. Contact Maddie Mao in apartment 505. That one's locked. We got another elevator. There's police tape covering the door. Uh, we can go in there. Other than being completely terrifying, something feels off. Ah! Oh, why did I go out? The sink is bloody and rusted over. What does that say? What gan? Zipper. Looks like a shrine. Um, the table's covered in dirty dishes, and what looks like college homework, there's also a plastic bottle. Traditional lion dance heads, this tenant must have been a hard working and dedicated person. Hmm. 
looks like a college student's desk covered in textbooks. There's a staple remover. HD80 Mercury. It's a note from a friend. A, fr a friend. Hey, Kev, I know it's not your bag, but you gotta come with us to see the new slasher flick. Stop being such a wuss. Plus, Joey's bringing a few hotties. We can finally show you how Americans have fun, bro. Uh, so he's not an American. P.S. Kelly will be there. I know you had your. I know. This guy reminds me of some of my co's friends. Some people just like staying in, you know. Chinese firecrackers. Can we? Oh, we can go out here. Looks like an old thermometer holder. The, the thermometer itself must have fallen off at some point. Despite the decades of weathering, all this junk and garbage has somehow survived. No, no, there's not really, uh, there's not really anything we can do out here. Alright guys, I think I'll end this one here, and we'll carry on through the apartments.